Todd, and there's a lot of support for Ukraine right now. I'm outside of a shopping center off of Lyons Road where there's an international grocery store where people from a variety of Eastern European countries love to go shopping. And one thing that most of them have in common is they say they're against the war and they're in support of the people of Ukraine and all relief efforts for them. People who live there, they in Ukraine right now, they should not go through what they're going through. We are all pray for Ukraine and Russia and we want a peace. These are two brotherly Slavic nations and uh, it's just, I, I think it's a shame. It's something against humanity. Organizations like the Jewish Federation of Palm Beach County are stepping up to help. It set up the Ukraine Emergency Relief Fund. We're ensuring that the people who are sheltering in place, not only in their homes or in the, in the shelters that are throughout Ukraine, um, are ensuring that they're uh, receiving food and medicine, but those who have actually uh, left Ukraine, um, we're also ensuring that they're getting the help that they need. Organization leaders say more than 200,000 Jewish people live in Ukraine. Ala Weiss lives in West Palm Beach and moved to the U.S. from Ukraine 30 years ago. She's speaking with her friends back home as much as she can, some who cannot stay home any longer. She said, Ala, we are in a rush, we're in a big rush, we're packing and we're leaving urgently, we're leaving everything. It's, it's just heartbreaking. Yesterday was 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 the most heartbreaking day for all of us. But Jewish Federation should be commanded, should be applauded for every every effort, everything, everything, every little bit helps. And to find out what you can do to help the people of Ukraine, you can visit our website, WPBF.com. Reporting live in Boca Raton, Steve King, WPBF 25 News.